Maybe this is 20 minutes or less. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Joe Beretta. Yeah. yeah. Joe, I'm a big movie nerd and I love my movie collection. I have it shelved and alphabetized and it's glorious. With streaming media popularity on the rise, stronger and faster internet connections being developed, new technology is a serious threat to the slowly dying breed of movie collectors. Um, speak English, Steve. That's not how you use that phrase, Joe. What I'm trying to say is scientists are always working on new ways to transmit data wirelessly. You know, instead of finding the cure for cancer or something. But now scientists have found a way to transfer a blazingly fast 2.5 terabits per second. Speak English, Steve. Yes, that's, that's how you use that phrase, Joe. And and that's actually over 8,000 times faster than Verizon's fastest wired home internet connection, Fios, which only manages about 300 megabytes per second, or it's the same as transmitting seven full Blu-ray movies per second. That's fast, Joe. And the biggest battle against streaming versus physical media is common consumer Wi-Fi isn't really fast enough to stream full 1080p Blu-ray quality movies without special equipment and techie know-how yet. Okay, that is fast, and I don't think they can get those fast speeds to us fast enough. The teams of American and Israeli scientists have used a neat new concept to make this work, electromagnetic waves that usually carry data are twisted into vortex beams. Speak English, Joe! Really? Okay, fine, no, I got it. Vortex beams, it's simple, right? No, really. there's no way that you got it. Okay, fine, I don't get it. Please explain. I can't, so I'm gonna let Website Extreme Tech describe the concept. These twisted signals use orbital angular momentum, ohm, to cram much more data into a single stream. In current state-of-the-art transmission protocols, i.e. Wi-Fi and LTE, we only modulate the spin angular momentum, or SAM, of radio waves, not the ohm. If you picture the Earth, SAM is our planet spinning on its axis, while ohm is our movement around the sun. Basically, the breakthrough here is that researchers have created a wireless network protocol that uses both ohm and SAM. Speaking English! Stop! Stop, it can't be explained any simpler, okay? Okay, okay. So far, the researchers from University of Southern California, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and Tel Aviv University have twisted together eight data streams, each operating at 300 Gbps, to achieve the new record of 2.5 terabits per second. For now, they've only transmitted signals as far as one meter, but they're working on scaling that up as we speak. And it's only a matter of time before we'll have that kind of internet speed in our home. But there's really no way to know how long that's gonna take, Joe, and it really could be years. See, Steve? You can calm down now. Your Blu-ray collection is fine. It's safe. Yeah, but I'm still gonna be the old guy with the awesome Blu-ray collection, and the youngins are gonna be all like, Ew, look at Grandpa with the beard over there and his Blu-ray discs. That's so 2012. I'm gonna feel the way record collectors feel right now. Yeah, you're old. So what do you guys think? Will all entertainment be streamed to us via wireless internet, or are we gonna be able to keep our physical discs, DVDs, and Blu-rays? Let us know in the comments down below. Hey, if you like this video, you can hit the like button. If you like our channel, you can hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos of today or anything that we've ever done at SourceFed.com, go to SourceFed.com or click this here annotation. You'll find it all there. I am Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Speak English, Joe! I did. <laughs>